Oh my goodness. I am just trying to figure out Zoom and Facebook Live. So please forgive me if this um, is at all weird. And what I can see is that I can hear myself. So that's a weird thing. Oh my God. Um, okay, so this is a little experiment. I'm gonna see what happens. But uh, I thought I would jump in here and ask you if this time of the year is triggering you into fight or flight. Um, it is tax time and this can be a stressful time for some people. This can be a, a triggering time for some people. And um, it's important. I hope you guys can hear me. Can you guys hear me? I can hear you and see you. Okay. Okay, good. So everybody's hearing me because I don't know. This is new for me, this whole Zoom to Facebook thing. I don't know. Okay, so this time of year can be triggering. However, here's how you move through it with ease and flow, right? If you are experiencing any kind of stress, know that that could be something that um, you need to rethink, right? So I want to remind you that you are the thinker of your thoughts. You are not your thoughts and you can make a new, new decision at any time. And so at any point during this process of gathering your information, meeting with your accountant, sending off documents and forms and receipts and all this stuff, you can choose to make a new decision about this. And you can say, hey, I am going to move through this with ease and flow. And if you are a person who has made money and you're kind of getting all agitated about maybe um, how much tax you might owe, instead of being in fear, scarcity, and lack, let's move into gratitude and being grateful that your business actually made money this year. And so of course you owe tax. The world we live in right now requires us to participate in this part of the society where we contribute tax dollars to make um, the government go round basically. So you are a contributing factor to that. And that is a good thing. That is not a bad thing. So what do you do to move into ease and flow? Well, let's just see what the comments here are saying. Um, yeah, well, Serena, you are doing a lot of work, to be honest, and that's a really good thing. So um, I'm not surprised that you're not in fight or flight. Uh, and I think you have an amazing story that you should share with other people to be fair, because it's a very inspiring story of moving from a place of fight or flight to ease and flow. However, here's the deal. Focus on gratitude. You are the thinker of your thoughts. You are not your thoughts. Focus on gratitude. That's about all you got to do, right? You've got to get some things together, right? You've got to get your income and your expenses and T-slips and, you know, the bits and pieces that you need to do the stuff or to have your accountant do the stuff. That's the easy part. Gathering the paperwork is the easy part. Do that, hire a professional. It's worth the money. It's worth the, the expenditure to have somebody who has got your back, who's looking out for you and who is doing things properly the way uh, they should be done, right? In looking out for your best interest, hire someone. Honestly, don't try to go through this yourself, by yourself, on your own. That's not a fun thing to do. And go back to gratitude, right? I am super grateful that my business made money and that I owe tax. This helps me contribute to society and... I am a productive member of our world. How about that instead of 
oh shoot, I owe tax. I don't want to pay tax dollars. That sucks. That's a very fear, scarcity, and lack place to be, right? And here's where we change how we think about the money that is leaving our hands, that is leaving our lives. It is just money. There's more money coming. It doesn't, it's just a thing that you have to do. You're just moving through it and keep going. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. And I pulled a little abundance card message from the universe for you. Here it is, just like that. And it says, the universe says to you, oh, I've been meaning to tell you for the longest time that, well, concerning the illusions, time and space, the stars at night, the earth under your feet, the oceans, the rivers, the prairies, and everything under the sun, they're all yours. I guess I thought you'd have noticed it by now. They're all yours. It is all one. We are all one. We are all everything. You need nothing more than what you have available to you. Um, you are worthy just because you exist. You are enough because you are here. Move forward with that. See you later.